differential equation of wave motion. We know that a wave propagates when particles of the medium vibrates about its mean position and the energy is transferred from one particle to the next. Next, consider a wave traveling across positive x-axis direction. Now, if you consider a particle P which is vibrating in this direction executing simple harmonic motion then the displacement of the particle at any instant t will be given by y is equal to a sin omega t where a is the amplitude and omega is the angular frequency now the particle p is at a distance x from the origin that means if we have a particle at the origin O and we have a particle at the point P and they are separated by distance x, then the phase difference between these two particles will be given by i is equal to 2 pi by lambda into x. That is, phase difference is equal to phase difference pi is equal to 2 pi by lambda into part difference. So the displacement of the particle p at time t is given by y is equal to a sin omega t minus phi. Now this minus phi is coming because the particle at point p is lagging behind the particle at o by phase difference phi. Now this 2 pi by lambda, this 2 pi by lambda is actually called as a wave vector. This 2 pi by lambda is wave vector k. So i is equal to k into x, where k is equal to 2 pi by lambda. Now if we, yeah, we are giving this as equation number 2. Now if we write omega by k, omega is equal to 2 pi into frequency and k is equal to and k is equal to 2 pi by lambda. So omega by k will be equal to mu into lambda, sorry mu into lambda which is equal to the v velocity of the wave. Now if I differentiate, if I double differentiate equation number 2 with respect to x, now not which I, it should be t okay, it should be, it should be t. If I differentiate uh, this equation number 2 with respect to t then double differentiating it we will get this expression now uh, I am writing this as equation number 3 again double different again double differentiating the same equation that is equation number 2 with respect to x then I will get this expression at first I differentiate equation number 2 with respect to x, t and next I differentiate equation number 2 with respect to x. Now if I divide these two quantities that is uh, del square y by del t square which is equation number 3 by equation number 4 I will get as this del square y by del t square divided by del square by del x square I will be left with omega square by k square. Therefore omega by k is equal to v as I as you already know here this omega by k is equal to v. So, omega square by k square is v square. Therefore, del square y, therefore the final expression I am getting as after dividing del square y by del x square will be equal to 1 by v square times of del square y by del t square. So, this equation is called as differential equation for a wave and if it is electromagnetic wave it may be del square y by del x square will be equal to 1 by c square del square by del t square like that. Okay. So this is all about differential equation of wave motion.